According to NASA, a star system located 3,000 light years away from Earth will explode soon. T. Coronae Borealis, or TCRB, last exploded in 1946, and astronomers believe it will do it again between now and September 2024. Can it be dangerous to us? Will we be able to see it? The explosion is predicted to become visible to the naked eye for several days and potentially visible for over a week through binoculars. This could be a once-in-a-lifetime viewing opportunity as the Nova Uberst only occurs about every 80 years and we will be following everything live. It's true, it will be an amazing event this year and we will be capturing it from here to you with a 12-inch Dobson and telescope. But what it is, is it dangerous to us on Earth? How can you see it? Let's find out in this video. The star system, normally magnitude plus 10, which is far too dim to see with the unaided eye, will jump to magnitude plus 2 during the event. On the magnitude scale, the higher the number, the dimmer the object. Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, has a magnitude of minus 1.46, for example. It's really bright, you know. The full moon has a magnitude of about minus 13 and you are used to see the moon every month. So this means that the explosion with a magnitude of plus 2, it will be of similar brightness to the North Star Polaris. Therefore, it will be easy for you to see. But for you to have a better perception, you might want to go outside tonight and look at Polaris, the North Star. But how do you find Polaris? Polaris is located very close to the North Celestial Pole, making it a useful reference point for navigation and stargazing. Here's how you can find Polaris in the night sky. Find the Big Dipper. The easiest way to locate Polaris is by first finding the Big Dipper, also known as the Plow or Ursa Major. The Big Dipper is a prominent asterism, consisting of seven bright stars that form a shape resembling a ladle or dipper. It's visible in the northern sky throughout the year in most northern hemisphere locations. Then follow the pointer stars. In the Big Dipper, locate the two stars at the end of the dipper's bowl, the side opposite the handle. These stars are called Dub and Merak. They are often referred to as the pointer stars because if you draw an imaginary line through them and extend it about five times the distance between them you will reach Polaris then identify Polaris once you've extended the line from Duby and Merak you will reach Polaris which is the brightest star in the constellation Ursa Minor the little bear and is situated very close to the North Celestial Pole if you can find it Congratulations! That means you are becoming an amateur astronomer. And here in this channel, I like to inspire you to explore this sky even more. But what's a supernova? A supernova is a powerful and cataclysmic stellar explosion that occurs at the end of a star's life cycle. It is one of the most energetic events in the universe, during which a massive amount of energy is released, briefly outshining entire galaxies. This recurring nova is only one of five in our galaxy. This happens because TKRB is a binary system with a white dwarf and red giant. The stars are close enough that, as the red giant becomes unstable from its increasing temperature and pressure and begins ejecting its outer layers, the white dwarf collects that matter onto its surface. The shallow, dense atmosphere of the white dwarf eventually heats enough to cause a runaway thermonuclear reaction, which produces the nova we see from Earth. But is it dangerous to Earth? Well, generally, a supernova must be relatively close to Earth to pose any direct danger. Fortunately, the vast majority of supernova occur at distances, great enough that they don't pose any significant threat to Earth or its inhabitants, and this one will occur very far away from us. But now it's time to identify the place where it will occur, to be prepared and don't miss anything. And of course, see your friend's face when you point directly to the spot in the sky. Because you're already a sky lover, aren't you? 
so as we wait become familiar with the constellation Corona Borealis or the Northern Crown, a small semicircular arc near Boots and Hercules. This is where the outburst will appear as a new bright star. Therefore, if you are a beginner, start preparing this big event. Try to find in the sky Polaris and Corona Borealis constellation. If you are an advanced user, take right away a snapshot of this area of the sky, the constellation. So then you will have the comparison between both. Remember, this is a once in a lifetime event like this one over here, when we capture it, Beetlejuice Occultation. <laughs>